Morning everyone. Today, I am going to talk about Staphylococcus aureus, a gram-positive bacterium typically found in the nasal cavity of humans and on the skin. It can cause a variety of infections and is increasingly resistant to antibiotics. Let's take a look at the facts. Staphylococcus aureus is one of the most common and dangerous bacteria found in humans. Usually found on the skin and in the nasal cavity of healthy individuals, this bacterium can cause a range of illnesses, ranging from mild to severe, even resulting in death if not treated properly. It is important to be aware of the risks associated with Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus, commonly known as Staph, is a bacteria which can be found on the skin and in the nasal passages of healthy individuals. It can also be present in the environment, appearing on surfaces like doorknobs and countertops. Awareness of this bacterium is important, and good hygiene is recommended to reduce the risk of infection. Staphylococcus aureus is a spherical, gram-positive bacteria that typically occurs in clusters. Found on the skin of many people, it is part of the human microbiome and also one of the major causes of food poisoning. If not treated properly, it can lead to serious infections and even produce toxins that enter the bloodstream, causing a range of health issues. Therefore, it is important to take proper safety measures if in contact with this bacteria. S. Aureus is a gram-positive bacteria recognizable by its golden-yellow colonies grown in a blood agar plate, which are also hemolytic or cause lysis of red blood cells. When testing for the presence of this bacteria, this characteristic is an important factor to consider. S. Aureus is found in a variety of environments, including the human body. Identifying it is possible through its biochemical characteristics, such as being catalase positive, meaning it can break down the compound hydrogen peroxide, coagulase positive, meaning it produces a clot when mixed with blood plasma and ferments glucose. Knowing and understanding these characteristics assists with identification and treatment of the bacteria. S. Aureus is a widespread bacteria known to infect humans, animals and even some plants. Though it has potential of causing serious illness, it is possible for it to be asymptomatic, making it tricky to control its spread. S. Aureus has been widely studied due to its capacity to cause disease in humans. An important trait of S. Aureus is the ability to produce virulence factors. These virulence factors include toxins, enzymes and components of the cell wall, all of which contribute to staphylococcal disease. S. Aureus is an antibiotic-resistant pathogen that has become increasingly problematic. To understand how this has happened, it is necessary to examine how the organism has developed resistance mechanisms. For instance, its resistance to methicillin and other beta-lactam antibiotics is due to its possession of genes encoding penicillin-binding protein 2A, which has lower affinity for beta-lactams. Additionally, resistance can appear as a result of efflux pumps and enzymatic inactivation of antibiotics. S. Aureus is a bacterium that can cause a broad spectrum of illnesses, from minor skin infections to life-threatening diseases. Healthcare-associated infections are a major concern, particularly in hospitals, with S. Aureus being a primary cause. It is also prevalent in other long-term care facilities and can be transmitted through contact with those who are colonized or infected. S. Aureus is a bacterium that can cause a variety of infections in humans. Its virulence factors, such as toxins and enzymes, enable it to evade the body's natural defense mechanisms, allowing it to cause tissue damage and serious illnesses. Infections caused by S. Aureus can range from skin and soft tissue infections to severe respiratory illnesses and sepsis, as well as other serious conditions like osteomyelitis and endocarditis. Neutrophils and macrophages are part of the body's innate immune response to Staphylococcus aureus, which is a pathogen that can cause a variety of infections, some of them severe. 
Adaptive immunity, on the other hand, is provided by T and B cells and is necessary for long-term protection. S. Boreas is a bacteria that can cause a variety of infections. Diagnosis typically involves culturing the bacteria from an infected tissue or bodily fluid sample, though molecular methods such as PCR may be used for a more rapid and sensitive detection. Hygiene and prevention are paramount when it comes to protecting against Staphylococcus aureus infection. This involves regularly washing your hands, keeping any wounds covered, and refraining from close proximity with those displaying symptoms of the infection or colonization. Infection control measures such as hand hygiene, environmental cleaning, and patient isolation are often seen in healthcare settings to reduce the spread of S. Aureus. Mild skin infections caused by Staphylococcus aureus can be treated with topical antibiotics, while more severe infections may require systemic antibiotics. For more serious infections, such as MRSA, vancomycin or daptomycin can be used as alternative antibiotics. In certain instances, surgery is necessary to drain abscesses or remove infected tissues. Staphylococcus aureus is a serious pathogen with the potential to cause many different types of infections in humans. With the prevalence and increasing resistance of this bacteria in healthcare settings, it is crucial to take preventative measures such as good hygiene and appropriate use of antibiotics. Thank you for your attention and for joining me.